Earth-based weather this week is remaining a bit on the moderate side. As we take a look at the Earth-facing disk, you can see lots of coronal holes both in the south and in the north. The ones on the west limb, they've been sending us some fast solar wind, and if, along with a few kind of mini solar storm launches, we've actually been getting a little bit of aurora over the holiday weekend, which has been really nice, but it hasn't come down to uh, mid-latitudes for very long. However, with this other coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the west limb and into the Earth's strike zone here, about a, right about the end of the, the year, we should get yet another chance for some strong, fast solar wind, and possibly that could give us some more aurora that'll dip down into mid-latitudes. On top of that, we do have multiple big regions that are giving us a big flare activity. The big player that we're watching right now, this is region 3176, and it is just beginning to wake up. As of the 27th, it's fired three big solar flares, so we're definitely getting some radio blackouts, and those are going to continue, and we have a long duration to watch this region rotate across the sun's uh, disk, and we could conceivably get some solar storms from it. So we're going to be paying attention to that as well. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders, just be aware, we do have radio blackouts on the menu this week. And now for your LEO Mio Geo Orbit Outlook. As we take a look at our near-Earth space environment, we're really going to be focusing on the MEO and GEO environments because we've had so much fast solar wind over this past week and we plan to get some more in through the new year. And that really causes the particle environments in those orbits to really begin to ramp up. In fact, back on the 22nd and 23rd, that's when you start seeing this uh, the red beginning to light up in the MEO regime. This is basically due to the low energy particle environment. Now, these are the particles that can charge up the outside of spacecraft and can cause electrical upsets and discharges on the surface of the spacecraft. These particles cause issues mainly in the post-midnight to pre-dawn sector, but you can see as we continue to, to move in through the 25th, pretty much everything lights up red, and that is because the high-energy particles are also becoming a, a problem. Their flux has become very high, and these particles cause issues mainly on the post-noon to pre-dusk sector, so everything is an issue right around the 25th for satellite operators, especially in geo orbits. Now, luckily, these particles, all of them basically get flushed right around the 26th. You can see things kind of cool down just a little bit, but now, sadly, things are beginning to ramp up again. We're beginning to get those low energy particles once again getting to high flux levels. So, surface charging is an issue for uh, especially satellite operators in MEO and GEO, and we're going to start seeing the rise of those high energy particles as well. So that's going to be a problem in the post-noon to pre-dusk sector as well over the next few days. But if we get a solar storm that sideswipes us, and that will cause another flush of these particles right around the 28th, so we might be able to kind of clear the way to build those particles up again and give satellite operators a break. For more details on this week's space weather, including how the fast solar wind or these radio blackouts could affect you, Come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.